In this video, the seven step Avant process to becoming a healthcare professional in the United States. I'm your host, Ross Erosion, and I will be joined by Sarah Rose Tamir, a manager in our global growth group, as we discuss each step in the process and the absolute most important things that you need to know if you're interested in becoming a healthcare professional in the US. You are listening to Healthcare Heartbeat, brought to you by Avant Healthcare Professionals. Welcome to the Avant Healthcare Professionals studio. Uh, very excited today. We are going to be talking about something we, I think maybe like a majority of our questions yeah. related to what we do is around the topic we're discussing today, which is about the process to apply. When you are an international healthcare professional and you wanna work in the US, what do you do, right? We're gonna tackle that today in great detail. You're gonna have everything you need to know, at least how to apply with Avant Healthcare Professionals, right? For the most part, this process is very similar. Of course, we've been doing this for over 20 years. So we've been refining, it perfecting, working on this process. We're really proud of what we have today and it will constantly be evolving. But we're gonna talk about really the key points that you need if you're interested in working in the US as a nurse. I'm joined today by the lovely Sarah Rose Tamir. Da, 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 da. She is a global growth manager, yeah. right? And you've been here for seven years That's with Avant. Right. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I think you're probably going to have some really great stories to tell. Because I feel like in seven years, you know, this business evolves mm -hmm. like any. But I feel like with ours, particularly here at Avant Healthcare Professionals, where we are always looking to be the absolute best, right. we are constantly working around the clock to, to perfect and improve this process and the experience for our international healthcare professionals. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about your role, uh, your department, and, and yeah. what you do here at Avant. Okay, so seven years ago, I started as a recruiter. <laughs> So I was privileged enough to speak with nurses from all over the world and get to understand you know, their motivation and how much this meant to them. And it changed my world. And after a few years, Avant opened Global Growth as a new department, and I moved on over to Global Growth. And that department, it's kind of like a mixture of a little bit of recruitment activities, a little bit of marketing activities, and English programs. So an odd mixture of things, but it's really focused on better understanding and supporting Avant nurses throughout the process. And I think that's, you know, that, as you said, like maybe an odd blend, right. but that's kind of the, the, the formula that mm -hmm. we've put together to best serve right. the international healthcare professional that wants to become a nurse or right. wants to work in the US. Correct. So we're gonna talk about the process. Uh -huh. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Are They're you ready. ready? I hope you are. I'm, hello. Yes, I've heard you say yes. You're ready. So we're going to get started, and we are going to talk about step number one. Woo! Let's, Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> so the first thing that you need to do. Ba, 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 yeah, <laughs> That's a do. drum roll. That's uh, a drum roll. Hey, uh, uh, please include drum roll in the post-production, <laughs> is apply online. Right. Right? So, so you go to uh, um, our website, mm -hmm. right? and you apply online, what what do the candidates need first and foremost, right? They go online, mm -hmm. let's say they're listening to this even on their phone, yeah. they're out, they're on the bus, they're living their life, sure. right? What do they need to kind of like have prepared? Uh, access to the internet at some point in order to actually submit the application. And you can do that on your cell phone, a tablet, a computer, whatever. But really, when you're ready to submit your application, all you need is your resume or mm -hmm. your CV. So some kind of document that indicates a little bit about you, like your name, your email address, contact information, and then a little bit of nursing education. So whatever programs you completed to become a nurse and work history as a nurse. Okay. So what... Is there any additional information outside of what would be on a CV or a resume that at the application stage mm -hmm. that we request? Is there anything more that they need there? Sure. So 
um, on the application. We'll ask those things as well. Like, you know, if you are currently working, what's the name of your facility? Mm. What's your role? What kind of unit do you work in? Um, but outside of that, we do ask about the NCLEX exam, if they've ever okay. taken the NCLEX, if they have CGFNS certificate, if they've ever taken the IELTS or any kind of English proficiency exam. So there's a few additional questions, but it's pretty minimal. Okay. And we are going to talk a little bit about NCLEX because that is something uh, yeah. down in this process. So right. if that's a new term to you, don't worry. We We're going to touch on it. We're going to hit it. <laughs> Plus there's, you know, uh, on our website, we have tons of resources about mm -hmm. NCLEX and mm -hmm. the types of things we're discussing. What's the, at this stage, uh -huh. number one, first step, the most important thing that an international healthcare professional candidate needs to know? Just do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you feel ready, if it's something that, you know, it's the first you've heard of it, you're not sure, do your research first. There's no absolute rush, like you have to do it as soon as you find out. But if it's something that has been in your heart for a while, something you keep thinking about, something you want to do and you're just dragging your feet, really the most mm -hmm. important thing is just take the next step and get started. I've seen the marketing data too. And something mm -hmm. that we see is we see a lot of people who end up on our application, yeah. they go away and then they come back. Right. They go away, come back, go away, come back, go away, come back. Uh, because I think a lot of times they maybe come across it while, again, they are living their life, you sure. know. So I want to just double down that if this is something that you want to do, you want to live that American dream, you want to work in the U.S., um, the first step is the most important. Right. And and I can tell you because I wrote the instructions um, <laughs> as far as applying online. Um, there are instructions there, so if you are looking yeah. at it on your phone, and maybe you only have a phone or a tablet or your computer, there are instructions that we've included there of how to upload your resume, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. I know not everyone is maybe used to like, oh, I don't have my resume on my phone or that kind sure. of thing. So there are instructions there on how you can do it. But um, again, having internet access is, uh, is key is. to doing it. You do need that to submit it. So if you don't have that at your house, uh, pop on over to the coffee shop, pop on over to the library, oh, wherever it is, may, maybe you have access and, right. and get that done. So something so, else I just, I wanna throw in really yeah. fast is, when you apply, it's not like you've automatically signed a contract and you're now committed. Oh, like yeah. that's something that sometimes I wonder if people are nervous about. Like, you know, we want <laughs> you to be serious. We want you to, yes. you know, really take this opportunity seriously. But applying on its own does not automatically have you join the program. It Correct. just gives you access to speak with a recruiter, have us review your eligibility. It gets you started and moving in the direction that you want to move towards. At any point, you can opt out, right? right? Like right. you can say no. <laughs> yeah. and, and this is something that, you know, uh, it's funny because this is something I've talked about in my own life with uh, colleagues and friends mm -hmm. and family when it comes to like, oh, applying for jobs or things like mm -hmm. that. And it's like, what's the worst that can happen? They <laughs> say, yes, they want to hire you, right? right? Like, so it, think about it that way. Uh, you are still in very much in control. Correct. There is no sort of legal binding <laughs> commitment. You're just throwing your name in there and you're starting the process, yeah. right? So step number two, mm -hmm. interview. Ooh. Okay. Yes. So this is, you've applied, right? Uh -huh. And we contact you uh, to chat with you, right? Mm -hmm. Now, is an interview guaranteed? No, not 100%. Okay. It, um, we need to make sure that when we're interviewing someone that we think that they meet the criteria and are a good fit for our program. So what's, is there kind of a average wait time between when they would apply mm -hmm. and then when they'd either have the interview or at least hear back about the interview? How mm -hmm. does that kind of work? I know you came, sure. you came from recruiting. That's right. So you, <laughs> lots you know, of interviews, yeah, that's lots right. of interviews. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Um, so it does vary. Um, sometimes it can happen very quickly. You know, I've seen a nurse apply, go through the whole process, get offered a contract and sign within a week. Wow. So it can happen quickly, but there's a few different factors that go into sure. it. Sure. You know, when we have to think of the volume of nurses applying, we do have a team, a big team, a, a massive recruitment team at this point. But if there's a really high volume of applicants all at once, you know, we do our best to get to everyone as quickly as possible. But this is a very serious process. These are people's lives. We're yeah. not going to rush through the work just to get to, you know, the next question. We really need to be intentional and take our time to give everyone the proper care and attention. And I think that's something that people need to know also. Like our our kind of mission statement is mm -hmm. the, that we change lives. Absolutely. And and so we take this very seriously mm -hmm. 
And that's something that we even communicate with all of our candidates throughout the process, right. that this is a life changing experience. Yeah. Right. Um, and first and foremost, it's life changing for our nurses. Yes. But it's also very much life changing for um, the people that our nurses serve when they come mm -hmm. and work here. Right. Yeah. Um, a big part of why we exist is because there is very much a, a nursing crisis in the United States and being able to help uh, people who are sick or in need. Mm -hmm. That's a life changing uh, element, too. So we yeah. we take a lot of pride and and I think we we carry that very heavily, that that's yeah. a very real thing mm -hmm. for us. So you've applied mm -hmm. and you're waiting, yes. anxiously waiting, right? For the, yeah. oh, please, please interview me. What, what, what are the ways that we notify people? How do they find out like where they are in the process? What's going on? How does, what does that look like? Sure. So big one, email. Mm. So once you've submitted the application, check your email, please. please. We want to talk to you. Please. So, please check um, your email. A lot of times, you know, I'll, uh, we'll get an email saying, oh, I don't know. What are the next steps? I'm like, well, we emailed you on this date. Did you mm -hmm. receive it? Um, sometimes it's just it goes to like a spam or jump mm -hmm. a junk inbox so just be really thorough in checking your email and check it regularly you know once yeah. a day once every other day maybe just it takes a second just pop in and see if you have any communication from anyone who is from Avant Healthcare yeah um, and so email is a big one but also by phone we'll call sometimes we'll send whatsapp text messages viber text messages so We'll try and reach you any way we're we trying, can. We want to talk to we you. We want to talk to you. <laughs> but you need to stay on top of the messages. Right. That's the thing. So, yes. yeah, check that spam filter. Mm -hmm. Do a search for Avant Healthcare Professionals in exactly. there. See if anything's <laughs> in there. Check your Facebook, Viber, WhatsApp. <laughs> you got to stay on top of that, right? Yes. So, um, so that's important because we do get a lot of people that reach out to us mm -hmm. um, on, on social media and say, hey, right. what's what's the update? Right. And, um, you know, unfortunately, like an, an email has been sitting in their inbox for a while and it's like, we, we've been waiting we, we're ready yes we're ready okay what's the most important thing that an international healthcare professional needs to know at this stage so at the interview stage you know we're going to be talking to you about your work experience about your um, you know if you've done the NCLEX if you've done the IELTS we're trying to get an understanding of what your experience looks like and what your goals are professionally personally what's important to you who are you planning to bring with you to the US have you thought about the transition for your family like we want to talk to you about such important things to make sure that we're a good fit for what you're looking for and also that you're a good fit for us and the clients that we have here in the US and so one of the pieces of advice I always say something that's so important is to be honest and to be yourself be authentic you know like Yes, display professionalism, like all those things are important, but everyone is so individual and has such special dreams and has a different personality. Let that shine. We want to yeah. know you. Like, yeah. Uh, you know? And I think for a lot of people, this is such a big opportunity yes. that they, I think oftentimes will get stuck on um, what's the right answer right. to give. Right. You know, when they ask me this, what's the right answer? Mm -hmm. And I and and I encourage you to certainly there's no lack of information on anything <laughs> with the Internet now. Look into being a better interviewee. Sure. But but just telling us like this boilerplate response, mm -hmm. right, that you've memorized <laughs> is not actually doing anyone any good. Right. right. It's what I think is really important for us and for you, by extension, is that it's a fit. Yes. Right. And that's critically important because if you're just giving us memorized answers that mm -hmm. either you either don't believe in or, or mm -hmm. just don't even know why you're saying it. Right. Um, and then you, you go through this process. It may not be a good fit. Right. And we don't want that for you. No, we don't want that for for us. We don't want sure. that for you. Fit is incredibly important. Right. And so that's where, to your point, being yourself. Mm -hmm. Tell us. Talk to us. What is it you want to do? Tell yeah. us your your dreams, your your you know, where you want to be, what you know, what experience you have, the mm -hmm. highs and lows, that kind of thing. Like honesty and transparency in this interview stage is is I think really really important yeah. right and i think that's just good advice for any sort of interview but particularly for this mm -hmm. where it's not just about getting a job right it's about literally <laughs> transforming your life and bringing your family bringing with you oftentimes with you right there's a there's a there's a whole process here yeah. and so being as thoughtful and honest and transparent as you can be uh -huh. is is really important we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back because there is more 
to happen, right? So much. You've interviewed. <laughs> what now? <laughs> We're going to cover that when we come back. Are you tired of dealing with staffing shortages in your healthcare facility? Let Avant Healthcare Professionals help. Our partnership provides skill matched, globally educated healthcare professionals who provide positive patient experiences and exemplary clinical quality. In fact, over 90% of our healthcare professionals convert to our clients' full time staff. Too good to be true? It isn't. Here are just some of our satisfied clients. It's a win. It's a win for us because we were able to, yes, help with you know our staffing needs, but we were also able to add value to our, our team of nurses that are there. You know, we have a diverse team of, of nurses that are available to take care of patients that speak a different language. They just really add value. Why would you not hire a nurse from Avon? They brought extraordinary heart and soul to our unit and our um, facility. So what are you waiting for? Go to avanthealthcare.com slash podcast or click the link in this episode's description to start the process in solving your staffing problems. Avant Healthcare Professionals. Okay, Sarah. So our international healthcare professional, they have applied online. Mm -hmm. They have gone through the interview, okay. right? This next step's a biggie. This is a big one, okay? The offer and document collection yes. stage step. Yes. What happens here? Okay, so after you've gone through that full process, we've asked the questions we need to know, you've asked the questions you need to know, then we review everything and we decide, can we make an offer to this nurse and what are the details of that offer? And then if the nurse is approved to join our program, we send an email okay. and it will outline all the details of the offer and then we send electronic offer documents like the contract to the nurse. Okay. And we say, you have two weeks ideally to look through everything. We, you know, we encourage you to spend time looking through this offer. We want you to make sure that it's what you are looking for and that you're ready to commit to this process um, and that you understand what our commitment is to you as well. Absolutely. That's that's the thing. A contract to two way right. street. Right. Yeah. It's not only about their commitment to, to Avant Healthcare Professionals, Correct. but it's our commitment to you. Absolutely. Right. What are we providing to you? Mm -hmm. That's outlined in the contract. So. You know, we talked about at the application stage that that is, you know, something where you can apply mm -hmm. and, you know, it's not like you're, you know, you're not automatically you're not obligated, you're not obligated. <laughs> but this is a stage yeah. where that that does shift. It a gets little. a little more serious yeah, here. <laughs> this is yeah, this is we're going, you know, we're going from uh, casually dating to like yeah. this is a relationship <laughs> now. Right. So this is this is a, a, a significant uh, movement in, right. in how. Uh, we work together and Correct. what we're doing. Right. And so what other, are there other documents? I know we talked about how with the application, mm -hmm. your resume, mm -hmm. some of the other, are there other documents that are required at this stage when we're getting to the offer mm -hmm. stage? Sure. So once you've actually signed the offer and it's official, you're an Avant nurse, mm -hmm. we celebrate, of course, and then you begin the document collection process. So anything that our team's going to need for U.S. immigration or licensure, we collect up front to make sure it's smooth sailing, you know, once we get started there. So things like birth certificates, driver's license, uh, nursing transcripts, nursing diplomas, uh, marriage certificate, anything that's like official, sure. you know, that we might need, we collect in the first 30 days. Okay. Um, the faster you submit those documents, the faster we get to move ahead to the next step. But we do tend to give 30 days for our nurses to submit those documents. So I think that's something where, as maybe just a good rule of thumb, I know mm -hmm. we talked about how the application, it, 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 it varies in mm -hmm. time. But I think when you have sent off that application, mm -hmm. that might be as good a time as any to just start to see about gathering these sure. documents, right? Because yeah. in some cases, for example, if you need to get a copy mm -hmm. of uh, a birth certificate or, mm -hmm. a or something, or an I mean, an official copy, not like a photocopy, <laughs> like an official copy, um, um, those those things can take time, can. and so if you are if you are committed to this process, mm -hmm. um, I feel like that's probably a good thing to go ahead and do, anyways, mm -hmm. right? Because then it's just going to make this process go that much smoother, that mm -hmm. much faster. Right. I feel like there is a question here that I that I need to bring up on behalf of our international healthcare professionals out yes. there who apply, and that is uh, about location. Good right. Question. So how does that work? OK, so Avant is your employer if you're hired. Right. We are your employer. We work with clients over 400 different healthcare facilities <laughs> in the U.S. 
and they are spread across 43 states here in the U.S. Wow. So <laughs> lots of opportunities wow. for our nurses. Um, when you go through the interview process, we talk to you about where you'd like to be, why you'd like to be there. Do you have family in New York? Do you want to be in the sunny state of Florida? Like, what are your preferences? And we, we of course, document those. And when it's time for placement, we do everything we can to place you where you'd like to be. But it's so important to be aware that Avant cannot guarantee location to our nurses. Um, there's a few different factors. Mm -hmm. One, from the time that you apply versus when you actually get to the U.S., time is going to have a lapse. Oh, so yeah. what's open, you know, the positions our clients have right now, they're going to look a little different in a year, two years, three years, depending on how long your process takes. And we place based on specialty, you know? Mm. So if you are a medical surgical nurse, you're gonna work in like a medical surgical setting. Most, we're not gonna place you in a pediatric setting just because you wanna work with children. Correct. Um, so we do place based on experience and specialty. And additionally, our clients also have to feel that uh, our nurses are a good match for the openings we're considering them for. So there's a few different factors. So we cannot guarantee location, but because we have so many openings and there's so much demand, there's a good chance you could get where you'd like to be. We just can't guarantee it at the time that you sign the contract. So. And that's something, I mean, we are we work diligently to increase the opportunities for uh, our nurses, mm -hmm. for all of our healthcare professionals that we bring in, mm -hmm. um, and finding them. Um, I, I feel like not only just from a basic level of like, oh, I want to live here, mm -hmm. but honestly, it's like, how can we put you in a position to be successful mm -hmm. and to grow right. and to live that American dream? Mm -hmm. Because you can, you know, to your point, not that we would do this, but like, you know, if we placed you in the, in, in the city just because you wanted to be there, but but it wasn't a good fit job wise, mm -hmm. career wise. Yeah. In the long term, that's that's not a good situation. No. It's not a good fit. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think, as you said, you know, we have a dedicated team who work with you, who talk mm -hmm. with you and we can't guarantee. Right. But it's certainly we take into consideration. It is a factor. Right. right? Um, so that's important because I know we get asked that All a lot time. when it comes <laughs> to that. OK, so what's the number one thing? International healthcare professionals need to know mm -hmm. at the offer and document collection stage. Ask questions. Um, if you have concerns, don't be hesitant to share those with us. We understand, you know. Um, if I'm gonna, if you're telling me I'm moving to another country, heck yes, I'm excited. Uh, that sounds exciting, great. But I need to know the details. I need to know what I'm signing up for, what to expect. If I have concerns, I'm gonna want to, you know, share those and get feedback from someone who has experience. Yeah. Um, so I would just say, ask questions. Don't be nervous. Don't be hesitant to ask questions. We want you to make a decision that's best for you and your loved ones. So talk yeah, to us. Yeah, we want you to make the informed decision Correct. right and there's no, I, I understand there's nothing more intimidating than getting a big contract <laughs> put in front of you you know particularly when we're talking about so many massive things like employment mm -hmm. um, uh, immigration moving oh, yeah. blah, 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 blah. so you know if there are things that you don't understand mm -hmm. about that contract or you have mm -hmm. questions about um, we want you to ask yes because we want you to be able to make the informed mm -hmm. decision. We don't want you just to sign it. Right. We want you to sign it because you understand it mm -hmm. and that you understand what you're committing to. Mm -hmm. And by extension, as we said, like what what Avant is mm -hmm. going to do to help you achieve that that American dream. Right. OK, so you they sign. Yes. OK, next step. We're on step number four, uh -huh. and that is licensure. And NCLEX. We mentioned NCLEX earlier. We're not. Yeah. This isn't a whole NCLEX tutorial here, <laughs> mind you. Um, but that's what comes next. Yeah. So what what does that mean? What's licensure? What's NCLEX? Okay. So um, the NCLEX is the U.S. licensure exam for any nurse that wants to practice nursing in the U.S. So whether you were educated as a nurse mm. here in the USA or whether you were educated as a nurse abroad, anyone that wants everyone to be a nurse, takes it. Anyone and everyone that wants to practice as a nurse has to pass the NCLEX exam. Um, now, before you could take the NCLEX, if you're an international nurse, you need to verify that your international nursing education is going to meet U.S. licensure criteria, mm. that you're eligible, like that your international education is comparable to that of a USRN. Oh. So the credential evaluation process um, takes a few months. You have to okay. submit certain documents. It's a very official and tedious mm -hmm. process, uh, but it's important. Yep. It's key for you to move forward and actually take the NCLEX exam. 
God. So, so during this step, yes. What support? What what's the support from Avant look like? How, how do how do we help you? Because as you said, it takes a couple months, and that may be at like best case right. scenario, right? right? So what does our support look like at this stage? So as a nurse has moved into NCLEX and licensure, those two things happen at the same time. Mm. So we have an NCLEX review, which is amazing. And while that's happening, they're also working with Avant's licensure team, who is helping them complete the credential evaluation. And we cover the wow. cost of the NCLEX review and pay for the credential evaluation as well. Yeah, this is. I think that's an important note, mm -hmm. and and maybe getting into step four here. Uh, it, it's too late, but I hope, but not too late, but should have been earlier. But like this, these are things that we cover, right? Cost wise, right? Right. So another very common question we get is, you know, how much is this going to cost me? And Correct. the answer is. Uh, nothing. We yeah. we cover all this, yes. right? And so when we're talking about NCLEX, um, because that is that can be intimidating yes. to 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 many of our nurses, and it's to be fair, it's intimidating to to U.S. nurses too, yeah. right? This is it's it it is something that is um, uh, it's a challenge, yes. right? Um, what's our do we have like an average pass rate for the for the candidates that we work with exclusively when it comes to NCLEX we do our pass rate is about 80 percent wow so first time testers 80 percent of our international nurses in the NCLEX review here at Avant pass on the first try that's awesome yeah that's that's and and again you talked about you know, we give you those, you know, those webinars, the, the right. kind of like the, the tutors, if you will, mm -hmm. the guides, the, the resources you need. Because if you have looked into this, you probably have heard NCLEX, mm -hmm. right? But maybe you don't know where to go for the, for, for the right information. Mm -hmm. There's no shortage of information. Right. But like, how do I get the best information? I think that's something about, you know, with, with the Internet is... There's tons of options, mm -hmm. but how do you know which one is quote unquote the best? Mm -hmm. How do you know which one is most up to date? How do you know which one maybe even is right for you mm -hmm. and your learning style, right? And so um, that's something that we provide you, right? So you don't right. need to worry about, oh, is this the, are these questions up to date? Is this, is this like, no, we work diligently to make mm -hmm. sure that all of our materials are updated and relevant, mm -hmm. and then they're just available to you, which one, is pretty awesome. Yeah, one thing that I think is great, it's not just about the resources and the materials that we provide, it's the team behind yeah. from Avant that's supporting our nurses throughout this. Because you know you can buy textbooks, you can enroll in online mm -hmm. programs, there are totally options. Like you said, there's an endless amount of different options to prepare for the NCLEX, but the level of support that and care that they get yeah. from the Avant team, you have someone in checking in with you all the time to make sure how you're feeling, how you're doing, what you're struggling with, how can we help? Um, that is really, I think, just so, so special about Avon. They uh, are yeah. incredibly invested. Yes. And I think that when you are um, training and mm -hmm. teaching and developing, mm -hmm. you need to be invested yeah. for it to work. Right. This is not just a, here, here's some stuff. Correct. You know, that team is so incredibly invested mm -hmm. and um, they love the success that, yeah. that the nurses, you know, when they pass, it's just like, we have a celebration here, just like you're probably yeah. having uh, in your living room or your house <laughs> or wherever you are when you find out that you passed. So, mm -hmm. okay, we are at the licensure and NCLEX step. Mm -hmm. What is the most important takeaway for international healthcare professionals to know at this step? Don't give up. Um, I think, you know, when you think about a nurse on our program that is working full time at their hospital and maybe they have a family, they're in a relationship or they're just a human being and living life, you know, um, it can feel like a lot at times to study and be consistent and commit a certain number of hours each week to reading, to taking practice uh, quizzes and modules and maintaining life at the same time. But it's a temporary phase. You know, yeah. it is challenging. It can be intense, but you have all the resources. You have all the support. Thousands and thousands of nurses have done this with Avant yes. before you, and mm -hmm. you can do it too. Just remember that this this phase is temporary, and you can absolutely get through it, and Avant will be there to support you every step of the way. You aren't alone. Never. And, and I say that it, it, to, to say we have, again, thousands of nurses mm -hmm. who have gone through this who are in very similar situations to, right. to, to you, working, have a family, have a personal right. life, have, yeah. a, you know, have the challenges that come with that, the opportunities that come with that. Um, and then at the same time, I think, again, because we've been doing this for over 20 years, mm -hmm. we understand that, yes. right? So like our support and our programs 
are really tailored mm -hmm. to address mm -hmm. those concerns, those needs that that you have, right? Because right? we, we really do um, understand that. Um, and that's, that's again, why we, we're just so invested. In We've, got yeah, we, <laughs> We've got you. Yeah. We've got you. We've got you. All right. We're going to move on to the next step. Okay. okay. Here we go. Step number five. Uh -huh. Okay. You've pa uh, passed NCLEX. Yes. Uh, licensure is all good to go. Great. Got the stamp. Thumbs up. Um, green card. Woo! Whew. Okay. <laughs> this is probably something that is another one of those terms that maybe you've heard, uh -huh. right? If you've been looking into this process. Um, what type of visa mm -hmm. do we uh, provide mm -hmm. to um, our healthcare professionals? We sponsor most of our nurses for an EB3 visa. So EB stands for employment-based okay. and it's category three. That files to a green card okay. and a green card provides permanent residency, meaning you can live and work in the U.S. as long as you'd like. Wow. Right. So that's <laughs> pretty, pretty awesome. awesome. Pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, who can be included in this, in the petition, as they call mm -hmm. it? So, you know, many of you out there, you may have family. Mm -hmm. um, like what what does that look like mm -hmm. for, for people who have families, loved ones that maybe they want to bring with them? Right. Yeah, that's so important to us. So anyone that is included on the green card petition, of course, gets the same sponsorship and you can include a legally married spouse. So if you are married, um, but you don't have a legal marriage certificate, you would just need to obtain a legal okay. marriage certificate. Or even if you start the program and you're single, but, you know, a few months into it or a year into it, like you can still add, you know, if you get married, life happens. Yep. Um, so that's something that can be added later on in the process before coming to the U.S., but generally a legally married spouse okay. and any children as long as they are under the age of 21 before okay. arriving in the U.S. So okay. that's who can be included. Unfortunately, we cannot include parents mm -hmm. or sisters, brothers, cousins, um, nannies. Second nephews. Yeah. Best friends. We wish we could. We'd besties, love for you to bring everyone you love. But. That guy that you that you <laughs> I don't know that you met at the coffee shop they had a like, very strong connection okay they did. okay it's fair it was very strong <laughs> you can still connect with him you can chat with him you can text uh, but unfortunately what's WhatsApp but you but you, you can't put him on yeah. the visa we're, we're sorry but you yeah. can bring your family yes and that's that's what's really really important and you know again the idea is we want you to also be able to foster uh, all kinds of new relationships here in the United States, which That's is right. which is really super exciting yes. too. So, um, okay, green card mm -hmm. stage. What's the number one most important thing that international healthcare professionals need to know at this stage? Patience. Oh. Um, the green card process can be a little bit frustrating sometimes. You know, sometimes there's delays with USCIS, the Department of Immigration, which we cannot control. Can't control. We. I wish we could, trust me. Can't do um, it. But, you know, this is a part where someone has already put in so much work to pass the NCLEX or pass an English exam or, you know, go through the whole process. They've done so much. They're so excited and so yes. ready. And so are we. Yeah. Um, but we do everything we can to expedite the, the process for visa processing, but it does take time. Sometimes there's challenges. You might have to resubmit documents. There can be, you know, road bumps, or road blocks along the way. Yeah. Just have patience. You'll get through it. It's going to work out. It's just a matter of don't let yourself get too stressed in the process keep living life and yeah that's the, the I, this is so true like in yeah. hearing so many success stories from our nurses mm -hmm. um and hearing their stories mm -hmm. um this is absolutely the, i think the stage where patience yeah. is absolutely the most valuable because there are a lot of factors here and a lot of things that need to happen that candidly are completely out of our control. Right. You know, we're doing everything we can. We we at this stage, especially we're ready. Yeah. We want you here. <laughs> hey, we're we're waiting. Yeah. We want it to happen almost as bad as you do. We're ready right. to bring you here, you know. Um, but, you know, there are there are there are things that are out of our control. Mm -hmm. And um, patience is, yeah. it's, you, you, it's just such a big takeaway at this stage, for sure. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break because we, we have two more steps left, but they start with coming to the U.S., which is really exciting. Woo! So yes. when we come back, we're going to hit those. Awesome. All right, 
We are in uh, like the home stretch as we talk about the process here. And this next step is is another it's a big one. Like these are all these are all big ones from here on out, right? Mm -hmm. uh, arrival and training. Getting to the US and starting your training with Avant Healthcare Professionals. Okay. Yeah. So this has two components to it, mm -hmm. right? A clinical prep mm -hmm. and uh, a cultural transitions. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna yield the floor to you, talk, <laughs> tell them what's that, what that's all about. Sure. So when our nurses are ready to come into the US, we will pay for the flight and we'll bring them to train with us in Orlando, Florida for about five to six weeks. So it's not like we're just going to say, hey, here's where you're going to be working. Yeah. Uh, go there and good luck to you. Not mm -hmm. at all. Um, we will pay for the flight, bring them here in Orlando to hang out with us for a bit. And it's about it's five to six weeks long. Yeah. And it's clinical and cultural training, like you mentioned. All those things that come with this this new life, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it, it's a major shift. Yeah. And I know I've talked about this um, uh, throughout, but like, that's again where our 20 years, over 20 years of experience, mm -hmm. like, like that plays in so powerfully here right. because we, we have a really great understanding of the things that you'll need right. to be set up for success. Mm -hmm. The things that you are going to struggle with, mm -hmm. right? Or the things you'll need help with. We're not just throwing you right in and being like, Figure it out. Yeah. We're we're truly there with you through this process. It's um and yeah, you know, it's something where you know, it's it's like going to school or college again or going to school or college for the first time if you haven't before, because you have all these other people with you, mm -hmm. right? Who are going through this experience. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's yeah, it's a lot of work. But yeah. I think we also do a lot of we ourselves do a lot of work to make it kind of fun for them. Oh too, yeah. Right. I love whenever I have a chance to go into the skills lab because we talked about the culture, we talked about clinical prep, but like for those that aren't aware, there is a full on skills lab that Avant has built that is almost identical to a hospital. Yeah. Okay. Arrival and training. Yes. What's the number one most important thing that our international healthcare professionals need to know at this stage? Uh, I would really say embrace this part of the journey because if you have landed in right. the U.S., think of how much you have accomplished. Huge. Um, so, and like you mentioned, they are completing this program here in Orlando with nurses from Avant that are from all over different parts of the world. You can find out so much about cultures you never yeah. knew about, what nursing is like on the other part of the country, maybe a country you've never even heard of sometimes. Yeah. I know I've had to Google some countries yeah. before, like, oh my gosh, I've not heard of this. Like, let me educate myself. And then I talk to the person and then like, it is such a cool and unique opportunity to connect with different people and to celebrate yourself for yeah. everything you've accomplished, where you are right now. And you're about to open the door to the next huge chapter of your life once you begin working in the U.S. Embrace this moment. The five to six weeks that you're here in Orlando, make new friends, celebrate yourself, and really be present in this experience. So that brings us to the last step in this process. But by no means is this the last step, I think, in your development, in no. your growth, and even your interactions with Avant. But right. when we're oh, talking no. about this this process of, of, of getting you to live your American dream and work in mm -hmm. the United States, we come to the final step, yeah. which is beginning work, right? Here's to that. <laughs> you did it. You did it. <laughs> okay. Um, so what we talked about the travel support, we cover uh -huh. the flights right. for getting, uh, getting you to uh -huh. the United States. What now happens? They're in Orlando. Mm -hmm. We've identified the facility, oh, the, yeah? the, their job take it away what happens from there how do how do we still help and support you in this journey it's go time so yeah. um when it's time for a nurse to move to their new home we have a transition specialist that we send with them <laughs> to spend a few days by their side um it's huge to think about starting that part of their new life like to have someone by your side yeah. a friend <laughs> someone that is supporting you emotionally um it's amazing and these are people that do this over and over so they've been through so much with different nurses they bring that wealth of experience and knowledge to your transition to make sure that you're fully supported and really can just transition smoothly i'm not gonna lie i wish <laughs> i had this type of person when i got my first job yeah. right like out of college and that's like for me who grew up in the united states right <laughs> so this is why it's so incredibly 
I think helpful, mm -hmm. but really amazing. And we feel is essential. Mm -hmm. An important part of this is because this, this, this is another really exciting, but potentially overwhelming Absolutely. stage, right? <laughs> so having this guide with you is, is just awesome. I was just gonna say, I moved two months ago from one place to another place that was 15 minutes away. Not another state, not another country, 15 minutes yeah. away. And it was stressful. I would have loved someone from Avant to come on <laughs> over and support me emotionally, help me unpack, like set up furniture. She hasn't I'm even, still packing stuff. In. She hasn't found a grocery store yet. We don't know. I got, trust me, the food, she, I got that part covered. But. She, yeah, okay, that part was number one. I will never go hungry. Number one, she found the food. Yes. She found the ice cream joint, right? So, um, okay. This is the last they they've made it they're 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 working. Uh -huh. What is the most important thing that our international healthcare professional candidates out there need to know about this final step? Be open-minded. Um, be a continuous learner. Like I know a lot of times our nurses have years of experience um, that is extremely valuable from other countries, but be gracious with yourself in the sense that you are starting nursing in a new country. Mm -hmm. There can be some differences, um, communication differences with other coworkers, or just how skills are performed could be different protocol, anything like that. Be open-minded, enjoy the learning process, and keep learning new things about yourself, about the new people around you, about nursing. The U.S. is such a cool place to learn about different technology advancements and healthcare advancements. Like, embrace it and enjoy it. Enjoy it because yeah. you've you worked hard. This is <laughs> you worked hard it's for a this. lot of work, and yeah. and I think you've, you know, you have. I, listen, I don't want to say that you have you have achieved. I would say almost the first step in the American dream, right? Yeah. Because because this is such an exciting milestone. Oh my gosh! Um, but the the good news is you you now have the rest of your life and your right. career to continue to grow. Yeah. And that's really, really awesome and exciting. Yeah. So, well, if this conversation, any aspect of this conversation has piqued your interest or <laughs> you want to learn more or heck, maybe you want to go ahead and apply, like we said, you got to start somewhere. Yes. Uh, go to our website, avanthealthcare.com. We would, uh, Love to have you start that process. And again, you can learn more. Mm -hmm. uh, we have tons of resources also on our blog for mm -hmm. you if you're still curious about NCLEX yeah. or uh, licensure or working in the US, all that stuff. It's just a great spot uh, for you to learn all about our programs. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, go ahead and apply. Again, it's avanthealthcare.com. Sarah, do you have anything, any final words, anything you want to close with, anything we didn't touch that maybe they should know? Um, I think that you co we covered the basics. Um, this is such uh, an in-depth process realistically. Yeah. So there's so much that um, we can't cover in this discussion, but there's, like you said, online, there's so many resources on Facebook, on um, TikTok, on YouTube. There's so much out there. Um, whether it's about Avant or nursing in the U.S. or different educational opportunities, every person has their own reason for wanting to pursue this American dream. You know, the American dream itself looks different. So yeah. I would just say get into looking into what's important for you. So if you're curious more about the NCLEX or IELTS or nursing opportunities, career path, all the things explore go look online see what you find and then get started yeah and wherever you came across this content i yeah. certainly encourage you we are on pretty much every We're single everywhere. social platform <laughs> We're everywhere. so look for avant healthcare professionals follow us there yeah. and uh you know we'll be uh sharing fun informative and useful information yeah. so until next time thank you so much Thanks for listening. This has been Healthcare Heartbeat by Avant Healthcare Professionals, the leader in international healthcare staffing and recruitment, where we change the lives of healthcare professionals every day. To learn more about how our healthcare professionals can help your facility, visit avanthealthcare.com. And be sure to subscribe to this show wherever you get your podcasts.